And here we are. I haven't really named it. Just sort of a, an outpost, you know? I've planted snowberries because when you're in the desert, you want to cool down. So I feel pretty good about putting those in there. Quick snack. And then this is designed to, it isn't designed for you to stay and hang out. It just has all the things you need. A fully upgraded crafting bench. So if you have the supplies, you can make anything available here. Eventually, I do want to add better items and more useful things in the storage. It's kind of the story of the game, really. But yeah, got a juicer, grill, an essence table, you know, lumber mill. So everything you need. And then if we go out to this platform and I I thought it was pretty funny when I put a toilet here and if you jump use the geyser and go up this way you can see that I put a little romantic hangout down there take this geyser up and there's another one with a pretty nice view, which is why I decided to put a crafting bench and outpost near here. Because when you get up here and you see those views, absolutely worth it. We have the desert and then a lot of water next to us, so we kind of get a, a nice little variety of environment. And now, if we take this, and notice I've marked them with the campfire, so it's a lot easier at night to traversal. We skip over that, head for this one. Across the water, and I have another fireplace here, and it isn't marked on the map, so it's kind of a, ooh, luckily I wasn't too high up, hidden on the map so my friends can't necessarily find it immediately, but it's just a fun beachside dojo practice. The nice thing about these dummies is that with your sword or your forest axe, it won't take damage. So you can practice around, and, you know, just sort of a fun, fun activity on the beach. Again, look at that view. So many places you turn to and there's beauty all around you. But that's not it. It's not just for fun. I also reward them if they find it. If I open this storage, I have a three time durability enforced copper longsword. Pretty nice. Totem of the Immortal. So if they use that, if they have it equipped and they die, they won't have to start from their bed, they can continue on. And a nice little night shield if they want. And uh, if you notice on this side, it's just a stairwell that leads to nowhere. The Simpsons predicted Lego Fortnite. I've made a stairway that technically goes nowhere, but let's go up top. Oh, and nighttime's starting to set in. We might have to encounter some enemies. So, oh, okay. Well, let me put on my 
inner fire charm gets cold in the desert at night. So you can either jump for that bridge or you can head for this geyser to get across. But I want to show you this bridge. You know, beautiful view of the ocean. Got the moon rising. And then the waterfall. I got lit up so at night looks nice and pretty. And there are the enemies I told you about. He's not too concerned. I'm trying to do a tour here. <laughs> All right. We don't need to engage with these. We can just continue. And here we are. Out in the middle of nowhere, we have a fine dining restaurant. Now let's run in, because I don't want to get attacked. But what I like about this place is that it takes frost pine to build. So I thought it was kind of fun to put a Japanese-style restaurant out in the desert. Look at them trying to get in. So, I don't know if I'm quite done setting this up. I'm still learning and trying to figure out what I want to do. But I have a working grill. I always try to leave meat in these things or items. If my friends come across it, it makes it a little more convenient for them to grab it. I got extra meat if they want to make more. And... Let's go to our main attraction on the third floor. This kind of a cozy restaurant. I just happy with how it turned out. I'm not uh, very great at building things, so the fact that this actually kind of works, I feel is a win for me. And I wanted to add this for act interactivity. You know, it doesn't do anything, but just a little fun thing to do. Now, it, it could be easy to maybe miss, but there is a basement. This isn't the Alamo. There is a basement in this restaurant. Of course, we've got a restroom, and in here, extra vines, just in case. And it's pretty dark in here, but I have a lumber mill if you need to make anything. Otherwise, you know, just a storage area, nothing fancy. And in here, sort of like a back entrance front desk. But inside, I have four snowberry shakes and four slurp juices. Now it's up to my friends and how they play. They can either ransack it, take it all. Maybe they just take one of each. Maybe they take half of them. It's kind of up to them. And in here, we have an essence table, which is where you add damage, durability, health, and luck. But you need some rare items to put these things on your weapon. So, if my friends don't have that, back here, you can't see it because there's not a great light source. I'll fix that now. In here, I have two things of rough amber, two rough ruby, and two rough sapphire. And they are in this line for a reason. One of each, because if you go here, and if you wanted to add the essence of luck, 
Well, look at that. You need exactly one rough amber, one rough sapphire, and one rough ruby. So, if my friends find it, they can add luck to their weapons. Back entrance here. I'll clean that up at some point. But just... Hmm. I love finding these type of views. So that's why I built this restaurant. And a fun location for my friends to find. Let me show you on the map. Let me get away from it a little bit. Even more. Okay. We'll just go to the beach. So you can see. It's got a little food icon. Where we just came from. That mountain icon and our main base is that A flag. So, yeah, that's how I added a little bit of fun in the desert side of LEGO Fortnite. If you enjoyed it, I do plan to make some more fun for my friends and you.